510 minus 1.3 range, range, range. And now you can see uh, from uh, an external camera on the Soyuz TMA-06M the view of the International Space Station. In the lower left-hand corner, you can see uh, the distance between the Soyuz and the station, uh, now 482, 480, kilometer, uh, 480 meters away, and uh, the closure rate, uh, which is uh, reducing uh, exponentially to about one meter per second, which will be the uh, continuing rate up until uh, station keeping occurs. Once uh, the command is given for the initiation of final approach, uh, the uh, Soyuz will very, very slowly move in for contact and capture at an almost infinitesimal rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second. cameras on the International Space Station of the Soyuz as uh, it continues uh, what so far has been a flawless approach for docking to the Poisk module. The two spacecraft uh, traveling 254 statute miles uh, just off the northeast coast of South America moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. The Soyuz are continuing an automated approach through the CORE's automated rendezvous system. It is honing in uh, on uh, the beginning of the fly-around, uh, which will get underway just momentarily. In the uh, Zvezda service module at the control panel, in the unlikely event something would happen with the CORE system, Yuri Malenchenko is standing by uh, to operate the TORU, or telerobotically operated rendezvous unit. Uh, to manually fly the Soyuz in, but uh, so far so good. Everything uh, functioning perfectly with the 06M spacecraft under the command of Oleg Novitsky in the center seat of the descent module. from the uh, Soyuz camera, two other Russian spacecraft that are docked uh, to various ports on the uh, Russian segment of the complex. Uh, the uh, Soyuz TMA-05M is docked uh, to the Rosviet module, uh, just uh, above the uh, lower left-hand quadrant of this uh, cross-air engineering view. And right next door is the uh, Progress 48 spacecraft that is docked to the Piers docking compartment, uh, having arrived uh, Back in July, delivering uh, two and a half tons of supplies, as will the Progress 49 vehicle, which is being prepared for launch down to the Baikonur Cosmodrome. That Progress 49 vehicle will be mated to its Soyuz booster on Sunday, 
for a rollout to the Site 1 launch pad, the Gagarin launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on Monday for final preparations for launch in the wee hours Wednesday morning, October 31st. That's wee hours U.S. time, early afternoon Baikonur time. align the forward docking probe on the orbital module, the forward section of the Soyuz spacecraft with the Poisk docking port. We expect a, a brief period of station keeping to begin at a range of just 160 meters. Copy, 220 and uh, 0.15 range, range rate. And, of course, this view uh, from station cameras of the Soyuz spacecraft as uh, its uh, pre-programmed approach begins uh, to put the brakes on, if you will, uh, for the start of uh, station keeping. Not quite there yet, just a few meters to go. The Soyuz uh, solar arrays uh, precisely aligned uh, for final approach and the eventual contact and capture with the Poisk module. K-15 command uh, has been sent. And we copy. Two hundred Soyuz TMA-06M and uh, the approaching Soyuz spacecraft flying over Mauritania on the west uh, section of Africa will soon uh, cross over the northern coast of Africa, out over the Mediterranean, and over the boot of Italy. Point zero six range, range rate. Moscow copies. Oh, 
Alec Nowitzki uh, now uh, putting the Soyuz in the appropriate role. This uh, will place uh, the Soyuz in the proper orientation uh, with its solar arrays positioned uh, appropriately uh, for the final approach and docking to the Poisk module that you see in the upper right-hand quadrant of this view. And uh, can, can you see the station through the VSCA? sky? Is everything fine? Everything is fine. And the visiting vehicle officer at Mission Control in Houston reports uh, the beginning of station keeping at a distance of about 197 meters. The Soyuz uh, will remain still now uh, to enable Russian flight controllers here at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karyov an opportunity uh, to assess the alignment of the forward docking probe with the Poisk docking port that you see just above the crosshairs on this engineering view from the Soyuz external camera. Kazbeki, go ahead and send uh, the docking command. Copy. Go ahead and send the command. Send it now. And happy with what they're seeing, the Russian flight controllers have instructed Novitsky to send the command uh, to initiate final approach, implying that, uh, as has been the case recently, we should be docking earlier than the planned time of 7.35 a.m. Central Time. We'll keep you posted as the Soyuz uh, begins its uh, methodical and slow approach uh, for final contact and capture. of your screen, uh, you're looking at the Zarya module, the first component, the first element of the International Space Station that was launched on November 20th, 1998, atop a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Its solar arrays folded like an accordion, uh, never to be used again. The uh, Zarya drawing power not only from the Russian segment through the solar arrays on the Zvezda service module, but also from the U.S. segment of the International Space Station. We can see the docking assembly clearly. Copy. Kazbeki, we can see you. Everything is fine, good trajectory. We can see you on the station camera. Copy. Yuri Malenchenko in the uh, Zvezda service module offering a quick greeting to uh, Novitsky, uh, indicating that uh, everything looks normal from their perspective inside the International Space Station, the two craft currently flying over Algeria. 100 and 0.6 range, range rate. Copy. Two and a half Squares is the angular size of the service module. Prevenita. Copy. Less than a 90 meters now separating uh, the two craft. The Soyuz closing at a rate of 0.5 meters per second. Then it's 85 range, 24 range rate. Just a few uh, seconds from now, uh, Novitsky will be conducting a pre-planned braking thruster test and will issue the command to retract uh, the core's automated communications antenna that has uh, bounced radio beacon signals back and forth to a comparable unit on the Russian segment of the International Space Station, providing uh, range data 
and the rate of closure to the complex. Yes, sir. We can see the targets clearly. Copy. And the video is stable. For Copy. All the crosshairs have been aligned properly. Copy. The diameter of the docking assembly is inaudible static. Copy. The three crew members strapped in their seats in the center section of the Soyuz spacecraft in the descent module with Kevin Ford in the right seat, Novitsky, the Soyuz commander, in the center seat, and Yevgeny Tarelkin, the board engineer, in the left seat. Just 40 meters now separating uh, the Soyuz from its destination. And the crosshairs have been aligned. Copy. Antenna closing. Copy. The visiting vehicle officer reports that the Corps antenna has retracted as planned 30 meters from its destination. The Soyuz maintains a steady state as it closes in for contact and capture. 36. Then the, the target is in the center. Range is approximately 35. Echo static, and the crosshairs are stable and uh, properly aligned. Range is 20. 20 meters now separating uh, the Soyuz from its docking port on the Poisk module as uh, both the Soyuz and the International Space Station approach Serbia, moving from southwest to northeast. The target is probably aligned. The crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Eighteen range. The target is lower by one degree. The Soyuz uh, edging ever so close for docking, uh, just 15 meters away, closing at a rate of one tenth of a meter per second. The target is stable and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. The 
Soyuz and the International Space Station flying just to the north of Bucharest, the capital of Romania, at an altitude of 254 statute miles, 10 meters separating the two spacecraft. The target is low by a half degree. The crosshairs are aligned, a range approximately 7 meters. Copy 7 meters. The target is aligned and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Just four meters away, standing by for contact and capture. Range is approximately four. Copy. The target is at the center, the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Proceed. The, the target is at the center. We are expecting uh, talking system engagement. We have docking confirmed, contact and capture confirmed at 7.29 a.m. Central Time, 4.29 p.m. Moscow Time over the southern Ukraine. Three new residents have arrived at the International Space Station. The International Space Station and uh, the flight controllers uh, in both Houston and Korolyov have put uh, the station in free drift, disabling any thruster activity to enable relative motion between the two spacecraft to dampen out for the initiation of the closing of hooks on both sides of the docking interface. Again, a flawless approach, a flawless docking for the Soyuz TMA-06M. Kevin Ford, Oleg Novitsky, Evgeny Tarelkin have arrived at the International Space Station. Docking occurring at 7.29 a.m. Central Time, 4.29 p.m. Moscow Time. 4.97 for propellant. 15.3301. Copy. Congratulations on the successful docking. Go ahead and proceed uh, with page 68. Thank you. We are going to go, go ahead and proceed with page 68. Yes, copy. And then we can go ahead and use uh, the push to talk button regularly. What did you say? You can unpress the push to talk button and uh, use the PTT normally. Okay, okay, very good. That's what we're doing. With the uh, Soyuz spacecraft safely nestled into the docking port of the uh, Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, uh, we'll be standing by for confirmation of the closing of the hooks that will form a hard mate between Soyuz and Poisk and uh, to enable the crew members to initiate uh, about three hours' worth of leak checks to ensure a tight seal before the opening of the hatches on both sides of the docking interface and the greeting of the six crew members with one another.